Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about the storage accounts in Azure and how we can secure them. First of all, let me create a storage account. So this is my resource group. Uh, I will create a storage account on it. So the storage account name should be a unique one. Region Central US2 is fine. Performance standard is fine. Storage V2. I will select locally redundant storage. Next. 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 And create. My storage account has been created, so let's go to it. In the storage account under access keys section we see two keys here first key is the primary key and the second key is the secondary key these two storage keys gives you access to everything in the storage account you can use these keys in your applications which need access to storage and these are very powerful because uh, with these keys you can do anything in the storage account you have all the access so make sure that you do not lose these keys and uh, you trust your in-house application to control them completely in case you lose them or you think that they have been hacked then you can click here on the regenerate sign and it will regenerate new keys for you once it regenerates the new keys the access will be revoked to the applications who are using the old key the best practice to use these keys is to use key one as your primary key and if you feel that this has been compromised you replace the key one in your applications with key two and regenerate key one in that case your key two will become the primary one and you can use key one later on if you feel your key two has been hacked in that case you can use the key one then and regenerate key two there is another way by which you can control access to your storage account rather than using access keys you can use shared access signature in this case also you generate keys which are called SAS keys but you have a freedom to define what level of access you want to give to those keys and the time duration and from what IPs you want to allow the access so by default uh, if we use the access keys it gives access to all the services in our storage account and it would be a full access but here uh, we can define that for example I just want to give access to blob storage and then we can select whether we want to allow access to service container or object in this case don't confuse this container with the blob container here uh, container means the container level API's so in this case if you select file then this container will mean that it's a file share it's doesn't mean it's a blob container in a same way this service and object also means the service level api's and uh, the object level api's i would leave all of them selected and i would only give the read access we can also define the time during which this key would be active and after that the read access would be blocked You can select the time zone here you can also define the IPs from here the access would be allowed and the allowed protocols HTTPS or HTTPS and HTTP whenever we generate this SAS key this SAS key is signed by one of the access keys defined here so either key 1 or key 2 so if you change your access keys then all you will not be able to access the object using the SAS key generated by that access key Let us generate the SAS and connection string. Now it has generated my connection string here and this can be used in our applications to access the blob storage but it would only provide us read access during the defined time interval only and using HTTPS. So this is a better way to access your storage resources compared to access keys which gives you full control. There is another option here firewalls and virtual networks so by default uh, all networks are allowed you can go ahead and select specific networks you can 
add an existing virtual network but that virtual network has to be in the same region as your storage account I do not have one you can also specify specific IP ranges from where the access is allowed once you define access from only selected networks then you have to allow some exceptions and by default allowed trusted Microsoft services to access this storage account is selected so this means that the machines or the resources in that virtual network will have access to the storage account but what if you need access from some Microsoft Azure services like Azure backup to backup the storage account you need access from Azure import export Azure monitor to monitor the storage account so you have to select this option which is selected by default these two settings allow read access to storage logging and allow read access to storage metrics from any network define that if any application or any service need it to access the logs or metrics for storage account we can allow this as well advanced security from here we can enable advanced threat protection for our Azure storage account it will provide us an additional layer of security intelligence which detects unusual and potentially harmful attempts on our storage account security alerts will be triggered whenever it detects any attempt and these security alerts are integrated with our Azure security centers and they can be configured to send email to our admins whenever any suspicious activity is detected and recommendations on how to remediate threat let us do a small demo here I will create a blob container in it and try to access it using access keys and shared access signature here I am under my storage account containers I uh, will create three containers here so container one I will leave the access as private no anonymous container Container 2 access would be blob anonymous read access for blobs only container 3 with container anonymous read access for container and blobs now I will upload text file in the containers so the first one In container one, I will add private.txt. The content of this uh, private.txt file is just a word, private written in it. Similarly, I will upload the file in container two and container three. So the container two file will have blob written in it. Just to show you the access level when I am accessing these three containers. So now I have uploaded the container.txt. I have now created these three containers with different level of access and each container has a txt file in it. Container 1 has a private.txt file which I uploaded. Container 2 I uploaded blob.txt. Container 3 I uploaded container.txt. And in these three txt files I have written the words uh, private, blob and container respectively. Now we will see a small demo when we try to access these uh, files. So container one public access level is private. So if I go in that and try to access the private.txt with the URL, it shouldn't work. It throws me an error here. And if I try to access the file blob.txt, with the URL of the blob it works and now I will try to access container.txt it works so what we see now here is that if I try to access the blob in the container the container one fails because the anonymous access is disabled on it container to work container 3 also works the difference between the blob public access and container public access is that in the blob public access you cannot list all the blobs in the container 
to have to access the blobs with their specific key to array but in the container access if you access the container you can list all the blobs and can access them this was about the anonymous access and now we will see a demo of uh, accessing the blob using access keys and shared access signature so i will go to access keys i will copy the connection string and try to access the storage account from that and it should give me full access on the storage account i have azure storage explorer installed on my machine so i will use that i will use the connection string let me rename it to full access next connect now i am connected to my storage account i could see the blob containers in it container 1 2 3 i see file shares as well so now i have full access on it so if i want i can upload anything here let me try doing that So I am able to add the contents. Let me try deleting this private.txt from here and see whether it works or not. Delete. So I uploaded the file, it worked, and I deleted the file from here. It has worked. Let me connect to the file share and create one. FS1. So I am able to create file shares as well. So using the access key, I have the full access. Now I will create a SAS key and try to access using that and see whether it works or not. I will create SAS uh, URI only for my blob storage and to perform read, write and list operation on it. So I will generate the SAS string copy the blob service URI go into my storage explorer I will add so it is for blob uh, read and write only so I should not be able to create any file queue table I should be able to only read and write blobs even the delete operation should be prohibited so here I am on my container 2 connected with the SAS string so let me try deleting it and this should not allow me to do that so here it gave me the message fail to start delete insufficient credentials I have write operation on it so let me upload a file and see if it works or not so it has started the transfer and it has worked so now we have seen that uh, using access keys we have full access on the storage account we can do any operation using shared access signature we can restrict the access and we can define the permission we can define the time the allowed IP addresses as well and what are the allowed services apart from shared access signature at the service level we do have shared access signature at the blob level as well for example this container.txt is an object in the blob and if i go here and click on generate sas it will generate a sas token only for this particular container.txt so this is how we can define the access of our storage account we can use access keys we can use service level sas tokens we can use object level sas tokens we can allow access from certain virtual nets, certain public IPs. We can also enable or disable anonymous access. If you found this video informative, please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.